and see what comes out. Come on out of there. Felt like I had a, <clears throat> like a thorn stuck in my finger. I tried pulling it out cause I had a, it looked like a paper cut. And it felt like a thorn. It was fucking hard. So my finger started bleeding and I went, took a wipe. One of those uh, Arm & Hammer Essential disinfecting wipes. And I cleaned it off and my blood was coming out dark, like black. So then I decided to put some uh, Epsom salt on it. This thing started coming out. I'm telling you guys. It's a parasite. A fluke worm. Morgellons. Acne. All that stuff is caused by fluke worms. I believe a lot of different diseases are caused by fluke worms. Y'all can tell me it's an infection or whatever y'all want to tell me, but no. If you take some time, and I don't mean time, time, like the hour. I mean, take some herb, you know, that like looks like oregano. I think it's spelled uh, T-H-Y-M-E. Take a water bottle, like a bottled water whatever you kind you want actually take the great value from Walmart and put some of that stuff in there and see what starts showing up in the water these tiny little white larva and they're in our our water in your house you know the main water it's in there it's I see them everywhere. I don't know why I can, I got really good eyesight or so I've always claimed. This thing won't let me zoom in on it, right?
These things are intelligent, I'm telling you. I know this is kind of hard to believe, but you know how they say we live in a hologram or, or a simulation? It's true, but not in the way we think, kind of like the movie The Matrix. It's more like we're surrounded by this, we're covered by this thin layer of, uh, it's like mucus. And it's actually the membrane of a biofilm, at which a fluke worm lives in. It's actually like a like a community of them, and they're covering us, our house, our everything. See what I mean? It won't even let me. And this thing can make us see what we want, actually. Fucks with our head, with our brains. Now, I've been dealing with this for since November of the year prior. I started getting this itchy, crawling sensation and I was like what the fuck now you guys can believe me if y'all want if not don't it's totally up to you I'm not trying to push my beliefs on anyone you guys are free to do whatever you guys want but I know what I've seen and I know what I've been through. Now they look like little ovals, kind of like an egg. Sometimes they're a little misshapen, but these things, whatever surface they land on, they kind of, they get camouflaged, kind of like the predator, you know, when it's cloaked or invisible. And that's the way I was seeing them. I thought I was seeing a mouse running across the room. There's a little white one over there popping out on my skin right behind it. But, um, so I started paying more attention to it because I kept thinking I saw a mouse running across my little hallway in my house. And finally, one day I looked over and it just looked like a freaking shadow. That just ran across the hallway from the bathroom over to the next room across. And I kept seeing these things and I was like, what the hell? And I was getting the crawling sensation. I was like, what the, f what's on me? What the hell's going on? And I kept paying more attention and more attention. And my cystic acne that I had. 
I was messing with one of them one day because it got in my face or it was on my right on my cheek, right below my eye. I was trying to pop it because I had to work for a whole two weeks straight the next following weeks. So I was trying to get rid of it, you know, use some uh, toner and stuff, acne medicine. But it wouldn't pop or anything. It was hard as a rock, like like a damn marble was in there. And so my my dumbass decides to use some hydrogen peroxide because I've seen videos where they put hydrogen peroxide and the thing will fucking just pop open on its own. And I put some on there and something inside of it started turning colors. Like it turned to like a like olive green, almost like army green. And then it coiled up inside underneath my skin. Kind of like a snake. I decided to go to the doctor and doctor hadn't even looked at the pictures that I showed him and he was already telling me he didn't know what the hell he was looking at. So I ended up getting an attitude with him and finally sent me to a dermatologist. Well, that dermatologist didn't even want to really help me out in any way. He tested it, said, and he came back with the results a couple weeks later. And he said it was some kind of staph infection. I was like, what the, what kind of staph infection is it? Well, he couldn't give me any more information on it. Now, you see that one down there? You see the two little bubbles? Those are its eyes. Yeah, these things turn into liquid form. So if you ever see any kind of like raindrops around you, like on the floor, that's what it is. It jumped off of you. Just This causes the coronavirus. I know it does. Trust me. Got plenty of paperwork to prove it. Now, I don't know why doctors, I feel like doctors are in on it because they're, they don't seem to be trying to help anyone. They didn't help me. I went to eight different doctors and all of them, every time I asked them a question, why my blood pressure was going up, why my heart race, my heartbeat was racing. They just said, I don't know. I don't know. That was all they gave me. Yeah, my skin was looking all bruised. Like I had just gotten in a car wreck. I was getting the shocks. Um, I was, there was times where I just, I couldn't breathe. Like I was breathing. I was doing the motions, but I couldn't get any air in my lungs. And it was scary. Really scary. And I was getting frustrated because the doctors weren't helping me. And they just, they didn't seem like they wanted to figure out what was going on. In the meantime, I was missing work. You know, I was out on FMLA for a while, but I, it was hard for me to get approved on a medical leave or or met through MetLife. So I finally went back to work because I started feeling all right. I finally got one. Uh, doctor to give me the medicine that I was asking for because they weren't trying to figure out what it was so I was telling them what it was and I told them I needed some uh, some anti-parasitic medicine because that's what I had 
And then they kept telling me I was delusional. And he gave me the ivermectin and it worked. The two weeks that I was on it. And then like a week after. It just. It went back to the same crap. So, and by then I was just so frustrated with doctors. I didn't even want to go back. Because they were making my family believe that I was delusional when I wasn't. My family was seeing these crazy things happening to me and they still didn't believe me. See that thin film looking? That sometimes they look like that. Like a little butterfly or something like that. And they'll look like a stain on your walls or on your floor. Just a weird shape stain like that. And kind of veiny and stuff. Just like that. They'll always have like two eyes or two dots where it, those are the eyes. And they'll be like, they'll look like a butterfly on one side and then look like they have a rope or tail. And then on the back side, it'll have a bigger one or a smaller one. Depends on which side you're looking at. But these things are crazy. Like, look at this hand. I don't know. I put some new skin on it. That Band-Aid stuff. Hopefully it'll zoom in. You see how there's one and one by the knuckle and one right behind it. 